folks, welcome back. This isn't your typical setting. I have the gym behind me, but on me, I have my waders. Yes, my waders. I have my backpack, four rods, all strapped, ready to go. I got a small, <coughs> excuse me, small tray of hard baits. I got terminal tackle and a handful of soft plastics, and that's what I'm rolling with today. Not a whole lot of terminal tackle, not a whole lot of actual lures. I got four rods, which could be a little excessive for a bank fishing mission, but hey, let's send it. Um, and then back here, oh, here, I have my boots are dangling. Yeah, they're strapped into this backpack. I absolutely love this backpack. This thing's amazing. Osprey, I'm not affiliated with them in any sh like shape or way. Osprey, if you're watching, sponsor me. But I'm not affiliated with Osprey in any you know any fashion at all i they don't pay me to do this i love this backpack i use this thing for fishing hiking camping like everything and it does an amazing job go check them out i'll leave a link in the description for osprey their stuff's a real deal um besides that let's go catch some fish we don't have that long it's right around five o'clock and it's only 63 degrees it's been 80s 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 and I finally got a break in the weather and it got a little chilly. We got some clouds. Hopefully with this, this cold, this cold little, this little cold front, if you want to call it a cold front, cold front. And this weather change will get these fish going because it's been so hot and so sunny. It's just maybe this will turn them on. Might have a fire day, might not catch anything. I don't really know what to expect. So it is what it is. I'll catch you guys on the river. Stay tuned. This could be could be a good day. Well, boy, oh my eyes, a little bigger than the last one. Just hooked in the corner of the mouth. A little bigger. That's that's where we're going. That's a pretty fish. Up, oh, up, oh. up, oh, up. Oh. That's what we're looking for. It's a pretty fish. Look how beautiful that tail is. Let's get a quick release and say goodbye to the pretty feller. Oh my god. I freaking love smallmouth, bro. Absolutely freaking love them. Freaking right. Let's go catch another one. There's a couple ahead of me right now. They're just itching to be caught. It's a Ned Rig they want. It's a Ned Rig they'll get. One of my favorite smallmouth baits. There's one. Oh my god, it's a good one. That's a better fish. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. Oh yeah, much better. Try to keep him away from that log. Oh yeah, baby. Come here. Come here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, they fight so hard in this river and it feels so good to be back. That fish is, oh, that fish is running. Oh, he is running. Oh my God. <laughs> I have like four pound test on. This is a heavy fish. I set hook into this fish and it was heavy, heavy. I just saw him. He's probably about a three pounder. Yeah, he's probably two and a half, three is my guess. I'd get a hold of him, but it's a nice fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. He's getting ready. He's getting ready. Come here. Come here. Come here. Corner of the mouth. 
dot. That is a beautiful, be and I mean absolutely gorgeous smallmouth. I might have to retire after this fish. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Whatever. Look at that smallie. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at that fish. That is a, that is a, that is a typical. Ready? This is a typical river fish because it is so long and it's not like, you know, super wide. It's just long and not wide. But uh, yeah, that's a beauty. Look at that smallie. It's going to release. He's probably around in that three pound range. Look at that. Right there. Oh, there he goes. Oh, that is too cool, man. Too freaking cool. Might have to retire after that fish, but god damn, we're on him right now. We, I am going to retie. It, it's like this front is rolling in, and these fish, they're getting a little finicky, but they're eating. And they're eating this stupid Ned rig, bro. Oh, ready for this? Next cast after I just retied. Gosh darn tootin' time. Just a little bit. This wind is not helping matters right now. There's one. Oh, he just dropped it. He's got it. Oh, he's got it. Wow, he had that. For a while. Oh my! <laughs> Dude, he went like eight feet in the air. <laughs> Dude, he had it and then just was like swimming at me. And it's so hard to feel him. I bet you I could throw a jerk bait out there and just hammer him if I, threw, if I threw the right lure, but I'm not. Oh, there's another one. I'm not changing. Dude, that smallmouth went flying. He was airborne. That was an airborne smallie. Back to when I was at airborne school. Faced into the wind. Oh my God, that was a big bite. That was a giant bite. Don't be snagged. I'm snagged. How funny is this? Uh, I didn't get super long to actually go out and, you know, and, you know, fish, but um, we capitalized on the time we had. We made the best of the moment, and uh, we, we, we caught a couple. Not too many, but it was a good start, you know. Um, you're not always going to come out here and just lay on some fish. We caught our best fish of the year, or our best fish of this fall on the Susquehanna um, so far for the school year. Uh, that was by far the best fish I've had since I've been here. Um, it was probably around three, three and a half pounds smallmouth. That was a good fish. I laid into him. I was like, I know that was a good one. So, uh, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this this little fishing mission. Nothing too big, but uh, dude, I was having fun out there, man. It was like it, it was good to be back. It was good to catch fish. That's all I gotta say. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little fishing mission right there. Nothing too big, but until next time, always fish for the moment.